Hello everyone, I just want to make a start your day off right sermon uh, video for today uh, for uh, Thursday, August the 5th. My quote is, the way you walk and talk reflects your love for God or not. So let your light shine. My story is a king stood high above his subjects on a balcony. I need a kidney and I wonder if any of you below would be willing to give me one of yours. I know it's asking a lot and would be a great sacrifice. A loud cry went up from the majority crying loudly, let it be me, let it be me, please let it be me. The king turned to his main aide and asked, how can I choose among them since they all want to volunteer? There was a feather near his feet and he got an idea. He told his subjects, I know what I'll do. I'll drop this feather and whoever it lands on will get the honor of donate, donating me a kidney. As the feather came slowly descending down, a swooshing sound could be heard as the subject started blowing the feather. This is the way a lot of people that tell God, let me, let me God, but when God says go ahead and they start trying to shift the load off them and onto someone else. They start to blow the feather away from themselves. My scripture is 1 Corinthians 12, 12 through 23. For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, and so also is Christ. For by one spirit are we baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have all been made to drink into one spirit, for the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, Because I'm not the hand, I'm not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, Because I'm not the eye, I'm not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where would the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? But now hath God set the members, every one of them, in the body, as it has pleased him. And if there are one member, where were the body? But now there are many members, yet one body. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. Nay, much more these members of the body which seem to be more feeble or more ne are necessary. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor, and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. My humor is a monk joined in my monastery and took a vow of silence. After the first 10 years, his superior called him in and gave him opportunity to speak two words. Do you have anything to say, the monk replied. He's food bad. Another 10 years, the monk again had an opportunity to divorce his thoughts. He said bad hard. After another 10 years went by and he again was called in before his superior. When asked if he had anything to say, he responded, I quit. His superior said, it doesn't surprise me a bit. You've, been, you've done nothing but complain ever since you got here. A successful person is one that can lay a firm foundation with the bricks that others throw at him. This is Dale Cantrell of the Meridian of the Holiness Church. My phone number is 256-508-4410. May God bless you.